What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am currently on my way back to the Tesla Service Center. Now you may have noticed something different. It's not my Model 3 this time, although I will have an update on that shortly because I will in fact have to take my Model 3 back, but it's a little thing and I'll explain it in a different video. The Cybertruck has been great. It's really not given us many issues at all. Everything's worked really well and we've had it for what? two months now, close to two months. The only issue we've ever had with it, and I think I pointed it out in one of my videos, is the suspension. So this has an adaptive air suspension. You can raise and lower it at your convenience anytime you want. It'll automatically lower it and do a cheetah stance when you do a launch. But pretty much every drive, an error will pop up and say air suspension cannot raise. And usually it doesn't change the ride quality if it's already locked into place. But let's say you're transitioning from like you know, the entry height to medium in the middle of a drive, and it can't complete the move up to medium, it'll get kind of misaligned. The suspension is so uneven that it's really not smooth. It chunks over everything. When you start slowing down, the whole vehicle shakes. Like, it's a whole mess. And the only way that I've found to reset it is to get out of the car, walk away, come back, sit down, and then it will say, like, leveling system disabled, press brake to, you know, recalibrate or something along those lines. So you can get in, press the brake, and it will re-level itself and be fine. But it's a real pain in the butt to have to do that every single time you get that error, which, like I said, is pretty much every drive. So we got to get this looked at and get this fixed. I really haven't seen a lot of people talking about this problem, but yeah, we're taking it over to the service center. We're going to let them do their thing, try and fix this problem, and hopefully we won't get that error anymore. Uh, basically every single time we drive. But pretty much outside of that, the Cybertruck's been great. We haven't had our uh, windshield wiper motor burn out yet. I'm sure that will happen. We'll get that recall fixed. But uh, yeah, it's been great. Still freaking fast. Still really fun to drive. Still a really smooth ride when the suspension is working properly. As always, I'll bring you guys along for the whole process. I'm very interested to see, though, how long this actually takes to fix. Because when I've taken my Model 3 in, it's usually been just a day, maybe a little bit longer. Maybe even less than that, a couple hours, five, six, seven hours. We'll have to see on this. Hopefully we get it back, back by the end of the day and it's an easy fix or, you know, maybe they'll have it the whole week. Who knows? We'll have to see. I also did hear some good news for fellow Kentucky Tesla owners. They finally worked out some way for Tesla to get around the laws that we have here in Kentucky and to be able to sell vehicles out of the service center that we have here that I'm headed to. I already know they got their sales license. They're already hiring staff here. So I know very, very soon you're gonna be able to buy and pick up Teslas at this service center. Also what that means for longtime viewers of the channel is that you will be able to lease a vehicle. And again, if you've been following for a while, you know that I prefer to lease electric vehicles and I was going to lease a long range and that was before the performance came out. So you may or may not see a performance Model 3 on this channel very soon. Seems like the kind of enthusiasm about the look of the Cybertruck hasn't really worn off. You know, every time I drive it around, pictures, videos, people asking to look inside. I think it'll eventually wear off because it'll be so, everyone will have seen one and you know, the novelty I guess will wear off, but it seems to be really big with kids. All the kids know exactly what it is and it probably doesn't hurt that they added it to Rocket League and Fortnite. They seem to love it. So they couldn't actually give me a car until they evaluate the Cybertruck's condition. Didn't take that into account. So now I'm sitting here on the sidewalk waiting for a buddy to come pick me up. So they actually ended up being able to diagnose the truck very quickly and say that it was gonna take a little bit of time. So they did put me in a loaner. They put me in an older Model 3. I oh, will just wait and see how long this actually takes to get this Cybertruck fixed. Hopefully not too long, but they did mention they may have to order parts. So could be a couple days, maybe a week. We'll see. One eternity later. All right, so it's been a while. It's been about two business weeks. Uh, we dropped it off last Monday, and it is now Thursday of the week after. So about 12 days total, you know, but they're closed on the weekend. So really, it's about two weeks worth of actual work being done. And once we get back to the store and pick up the Cybertruck, I'll walk you guys through what the issues they found were and what the solutions 
that they came up with were. Real quick, I wanted to say a huge shout out to Yeslac for sending me some of these Cybertruck accessories here. We've got some uh, mud flaps here. We've got some, I think these are wheel cap covers. Yep, so they go right there. That'll look nice. And I think we also have some under seat organizers. I'll have to install those in a separate video, but uh, just wanted to give them a huge shout out for sending me this stuff for the Cybertruck. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on here. If you guys wanna buy any of these accessories or any of Yeslac's other Tesla accessories, I'll have a link down in the description where you can get 20% off using code METSTECH. All right, Cybertruck is back in my possession. We picked it up from the Tesla service center. We are ready to go. We got people coming out to look. June 28th. I think was when we got it. Oh, you got it a month and four days after me. Really? I got my May 24th. Nice. All right. See ya. <laughs> See ya, man. So just chatted with uh, the other Cybertruck owner there. Nice guy. Got it picked up from the service center. We're sitting here at the supercharger, getting a little bit of juice. And I wanted to talk through what they actually ended up doing. So Monday the 12th, we dropped it off. They messaged us on, I think, Thursday and said, basically, we th we think we fixed it and they took it for a test drive, it wasn't fixed. It immediately did it again. So then they had to order parts. They got one part in, they thought that would fix it, didn't fix it, so then they had to order more parts. So it kept pushing it back, waiting for them to get new parts in. Finally, they got all the parts in and they were able to fix it. So here's what they actually ended up doing. So I reported it for suspension and they resolved it. Verified customer concern, diagnosed and replaced air compressor, valve block, and airline due to leak and internal fault in valve block and compressor. I think initially they just replaced the airline and when that didn't work, then they replaced the valve block and then I think they had to order a whole new compressor and fix that and just completely replace it. So three full components were replaced, air compressor, valve block, and airline due to leak and internal fault in valve block and compressor. Performed multiple validation tests, verified proper operation, confirmed repair. So full on replacement of those three parts, not little tweaks, not little fixes, full on replacement. So that's crazy already, 2,300 miles in, full replacement of the air compressor, valve block and airline. But I've driven a little bit up to the supercharger, no issues, no errors, so far so good. I think we're set, hopefully. Hopefully we won't have any issues in the future. I know we'll probably have to get the wiper motor replaced, We'll see. <laughs> Everything's functioning correctly. Next step is autopilot coming very soon. And I'm gonna have a video on that as soon as we've got that. And then FSD in September, fingers crossed. That's what they said on Twitter at least. So we'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. Let me know down in the comments. Have you had any issues with your Cybertruck or any weird issues with service? Let's talk about it down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.